Hello and welcome to DIY D365. My name is Prashant and today we are going to talk about how you can show a bot in your user's preferred language. We are talking about Power Apps Portal. So if a user is logged in and they have a preferred language, how would you show the preferred language bot to the user? That's what we are gonna talk about right after the intro. All right, so after the addition of multi-language support in Power Virtual Agents, it's possible to create bots in different languages. So you've got plenty of languages available there. Some are still in experimental stage, um, but most of them are available for preview and they would be generally available at some point in time. Um, you can check out the website for more details, uh, docs.microsoft.com to get what's available, what's getting generally available in Vin. But with that coming into picture, the feature which is multi-language support, now you'll be able to place bots in different language on your website or portals. But, so here's the thing, I'm only talking about Power as Portal because I don't have a website which can support um, chatbots and the reason is because I don't pay them that much for the plan. Anyway, so moving on, there are multiple ways you can do it. If your website has got a selection of languages on the header, like you must have seen on the header of a many websites, it says select English or French or Japanese, Korean, whatever. If that's the case, you have got two options. One, that for the anonymous user, you're storing that value somewhere. Two, based on their language, you take them to some other page. And on that page, that language spot is placed. Um, for example, if I click on French, it takes me to the French version of the page I wanted to visit. And if that's a separate page, it's quite easy. You'll have that um, bot available there in French. But if you're storing value, you'll have to do some sort of coding so that the bot which supports French would be visible to this user. Now, in case of Power Apps Portal, if you have ever used that, there is a field called preferred language for every, every contact or every logged in user, right? For, for users who are not logged in, you can probably show a bot um, which is your most spoken language in your region. So for example, if you're in Canada, it can be French, you're somewhere else, it can be something else, English or whatever is more common than uh, other language, you can place that in. Okay, so, but in our case, we are only going to look at uh, preferred language. Now, please keep in mind, I have not used that at the box preferred language field. I've created my own preferred language field for the ease of work. Um, so when you ask your users to set up their profile, you can probably set preferred language as mandatory field and they will have to enter. Now this, you can obviously validate if they are typing words correctly or you can have a drop down field and get the text out of it. Or you can have a lookup field and get the text out of that. Okay, so let's get started and see what we are going to do and how we are going to do it. I will take examples of two languages, Spanish and English, and I will change my profile and show you how you can show and hide the chatbots, widgets or iframes available. So we are going to do it on Parap's portal. You can see my portal, I'm not logged in. There are no bots available here. So what we are gonna do is go to um, the Power Apps administrator thing, okay? Here we'll change it to services and we are going to place two iframes somewhere. Okay, before we do that, make sure that you've got bots available in more than one language. So if I click on my bots, you can see I've got a bot which is US English, the second one is Spanish. Um, 
ES is the code for that. So I've got two bots in two different languages. So what I'm going to do is on my services page, I will place two iframes and let me do it within a section. So place two column section and then I'll place iframe here and another one here. So now I've got two bots available there. Not yet, I have to provide the URL. So for that, I'll go back to my PBA. Uh, this is my English one. You can see that that's the one which is ticked, US English. And I will go to channels and I will just copy this URL from here, which includes my bot ID and here, I will just change it to the English bot. So that's the community bot is in English. And the second one, I'll have to switch bots now. So let me just quickly switch it. And once I switch it, I will again follow the same process basically. So here, what we're gonna do is we will be using some sort of liquid code, but if you look at it, it's pretty easy and it's it's not really a code code. It's pretty easy what you're asking for the web page to do. So this is my Spanish bot called Hola. Okay. We're going to go to channels again, custom website and copy the URL with bot ID here and paste it in the second iframe here. Now, so at this moment, Okay, both of them are visible. Let me sync configuration. And at the moment there is no condition, nothing. So we'll have to put in condition. Now if I go and refresh this, I will see both the bots. Okay, now, which is not ideal. And what you want to do is first of all, let me log in. And I will just log in to see what's visible to me. Okay, still both the bots are available. Now, if I go and check my profile, you will see my preferred language here. As Spanish um, is there, I've typed it. Um, and so basically what I should be able to see would be this bot called Hola. Okay, so what we need to do for this is go back to our service page here and apply some sort of condition. So I'll click and go to the code. In the code, you can see that these two rows are basically the iframes. Okay. So what we need to do is insert a line here, curly braces here, and this, this here. Now, after we have done that, we will apply an if condition. If, um, user dot this is my field name. So I've created this field in my CDS. So my field name is CR96B, which is a prefix of the publisher, underscore preferred language. Preferred language. And then we have to say is equal to English. Okay. That means if it's equal to English, show me the community bot, which is in the first line here. And then what we're going to do is saying an otherwise condition. Okay. So for that, what we need to do is this and here, just take note of this, that else if is applied, but else with out an E at the end. So it is E L S I F else if user dot CR96B, that's the prefix. You can change your prefix in your publisher, so that's not a problem, but let me quickly do it. Language is equal to Spanish here. And then the last line would be, you'll have to end your if condition. And these are all rules of the liquid template thing. Um, but if we can learn this, 
just a simple line of uh, whatever it's called code, it would be so much easy and your users would be much more happy. So here we have end the if condition. Now, if you want to apply more, you can. You can apply that if, if no preferred language is there, just like that, basically it's null then show me the English part or French or Spanish or whatever you want, right? Otherwise, if there is a preferred language, show them a bot in their preferred language. And all we have done is apply two iframes. Now, once we have done this, we will hit save. And how we went about this is clicked on this page where we place the iframes and then hit this button, which takes you to the source code editor and applied some conditions there. This row was my iframe this row was my iframe you can see iframe iframe okay and hit save once saved we will say sync configuration and let's go back to our portal now so here let me just refresh it and you see that my preferred language as i showed you earlier was spanish so i'm looking at the ball in I'm looking at the Spanish part and I'm just typing hola and it will give me whatever results are configured there, right? Now, let me quickly change my preferred language and see what happens. So instead of Spinal, I will say English and update my profile. Once updated, I'll go back to service and let's see what's available now. It's community bot, which is in English. So that's how you can show bots based on your user's preferred language. I hope this video helped you and it solved some sort of your problem. Uh, if, you, if it did, do like the video, give it a big blue thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet, if you keep checking out my videos. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.